Your dogs, your babies, and your stomach are all about to be furious at you and the entire world, as several grocery staples could soon vanish from store shelves. Sriracha chili sauce is a fiery little ace up many cook's sleeves. But unfortunately, stocks of this tantalizing condiment are on the decline, thanks to a disruption in chili pepper manufacturing. According to an official letter from the company, Hoi Fong Foods is holding off on bottling any more of it until early fall. The chili crisis began in the first few months of the pandemic, but it's really been ramping up lately. Climate change and subpar peppers are significant contributors to this chili drought. The good news is that Hoi Fong Foods is hoping to jumpstart production in the fall, so hopefully we won't have to be without our favorite spicy condiment for too long. It's gonna be a little more hard to find any other substitutions to please our customers and clientele. One of the major ripple effects of the ongoing war in Ukraine is that wheat and wheat-related products like bread are becoming more expensive. Inevitably, that cost trickles down to customers who could find themselves shocked by the inflated price of their regular loaf of Wonder Bread. Nicknamed Europe's breadbasket, Ukraine's uniquely fertile soil produces some of the best wheat on the planet, but farming has been disrupted during the war with Russia. To make matters worse, other countries like India are severely cutting back on wheat exports. This is one of those things that you don't miss until it's gone. So prepare for more expensive bread, noodles, and crackers while the conflict drags on. Proving that everything in the world is interconnected, the global energy crisis could very well lead to a seemingly unrelated food shortage. As sugar-producing behemoth Brazil anticipates fallout from the increase in energy prices, the country is expected to use more sugarcane for ethanol fuel instead of converting it to the sweet stuff and sending it around the world. Unfortunately, this problem isn't limited to Brazil. There's also a shortage in the Philippines prompting soda giant Coca-Cola to temporarily halt production in the country. Like wheat, sugar is something that you don't really miss until you don't have it. Plenty of packaged foods, even savory ones, contain a lot of added sugar. So it's not just cakes that you won't be able to snack on, it's also stuff like pasta sauces and marinades as well. Climate change strikes again. A current mustard shortage is the wicked result of bone-dry fields in Canada. Since mustard farms are being negatively impacted by the drought, commercially produced mustard might not be able to make it onto your ballpark or movie theater hot dog anytime soon. According to the Canadian government's official agriculture website, the state of affairs is pretty bleak for 2022, with mustard seed production slashed and seed prices going through the roof. Even if you can find your favorite brand on store shelves, it could cost you more than just a little bit extra. So if there is anything currently available, you might want to stock up now before it's too late. Fortunately, Canada expects production to increase in the next year, which could ease price hikes somewhat. The answer was mustard. Mustard is made from mustard seeds. Everyone who remembers the first few frightening months of the COVID-19 pandemic surely recalls the mad dashes for toilet paper. Things eventually got back to normal, and bums were thankful everywhere. But just when you thought it was safe to go back into the bathroom, it looks like we might be in for round two of this crisis. It's not pandemic panic that's fueling the second wave, though. Instead, it's paper pulp. As with many food and supply shortages, the war in Ukraine is partly to blame. As reported by Bloomberg, Russia is one of Europe's biggest pulp producers, and it hasn't exported this resource since the invasion began. Also, toilet paper production eats up a lot of energy, which is an uncertain and limited commodity at the moment. As less toilet paper gets produced, fewer rolls wind up on the shelves, and Americans have reportedly already taken notice and ramped up purchases. I demand TV! I demand TV! More TV! Little dude's right, we do need more TV. The ongoing baby formula shortage is a nightmare for new parents, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem to show any signs of easing up soon, with popular brands like Gerber and Enfamil consistently out of stock. As with plenty of food shortages and high-priced staple items, the baby formula shortage is likely a direct result of supply chain holdups, making it challenging to get the formula to the stores themselves and get the ingredients needed to make the formula. 
When you also factor in factory shutdowns and product recalls, you have a genuinely alarming situation. Unfortunately, some parents are taking the formula shortage into their own hands by concocting at-home blends that may not be safe for their infants' tummies. Although there's not much of an immediate solution to the formula crisis, homemade infant formulas are not a good idea, as they could make your baby sick. It's not just human children who have been experiencing fallout from grocery shortages, as America's fur babies are hurting as well. The pet food shortage is leading owners to scramble for alternatives, and it's particularly bad for animals with special diets. There's enough currently available that you can probably still get something, but it might not be the particular brand your dog or cat loves the most. As with most shortages, the pet food crisis is the cumulative effect of many different things, including supply chain woes and problems obtaining certain ingredients. It's also exacerbated by the high rate of new pet adoptions in America at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Canned dog food has been hit hardest by the shortage, and the primary culprit is manufacturers having a hard time sourcing aluminum. Rising ingredient prices are also partly to blame. Luckily, a little resourcefulness can get you through tough times. Unlike baby formula, dog food is safe to make at home. You might have to wave bye-bye to the bubbly for the time being, unless you're willing to pay a pretty penny. Prices for sought-after suds like champagne are going up, and as usual, plenty of factors are to blame. The global supply chain screeching to a halt in light of COVID-19 is one of the critical factors. Another problem is that decreased demand in 2020 caused champagne producers to reduce production. When sales shot back up, it put a strain on the supply chain that might continue for several years. Life is too short to quaff anything but champagne. Champagne isn't the only booze that could be getting more expensive, as the average beer cost is reportedly going up as well. Some of the traditional beer-making materials are in shorter supply, and aluminum cans are also getting more expensive. With this big of a hit on your drinking budget, you might start wondering if tap water can get you drunk. Milk is a nearly universal staple in American households, with over 90% of families reportedly having it in their fridge. So it's more than a little alarming to know that we're in the middle of a massive milk crisis. This classic dairy drink has fallen victim to one of the biggest villains of the post-pandemic world, supply chain snags. Processing and shipping raw milk is the issue here. There's still enough milk being produced by dairy farms, but getting it packaged and delivered to places where it can be sold has become more challenging. Plant shutdowns at colossal brands like Borden are also affecting the availability of specific milk products. While you'll likely see less variety and pricier half-gallons at your local store, consumers are paying close attention to another side of the milk shortage as well. As it turns out, school kids could have trouble getting those child-sized mini cartons of milk that so many of us grew up with. Quite frankly, this is utterly ridiculous. Milk was a bad choice. The COVID-19 pandemic shook up the meat industry in cataclysmic ways. Supply chain issues account for part of the problem, with considerable holes left in the infrastructure for the production and distribution of meat products. On top of that, giant meat factories dealt with rampant COVID-19 infections, which disrupted production. Tyson Foods is one such company that was struck by the disease's outbreak, and according to its CEO, prices are consistently high today because of the enormous demand for beef. Whether it's pandemic-related challenges or high demand for meat products or a combination of both, there's no denying that carnivores are feeling the pinch at the supermarket. On top of those issues, there are also the matters of inflation, price gouging, and good old-fashioned greed. Maybe it's time for Meatless Mondays to become a trend for even the most unapologetic carnivores. If you love hummus or habitually sprinkle a few chickpeas in your salad, brace yourselves. Chickpea production is reportedly way down thanks to the double punch of the war in Ukraine and climate change. Both Russia and Ukraine are important chickpea producers, and the war has damaged both countries' ability to export their products. Volatile weather in the United States has wrecked the chickpea crop as well. Fewer chickpeas could lead to pricier hummus, and even if you make it yourself, you might find that the raw ingredients have become more expensive as well. The humble chickpea is also another victim of supply chain snafus, and this time, it's on a global scale. 
Modern Farmer also offers this grim warning. One of the reasons we'll see fewer chickpeas on the shelves is a fertilizer shortage that could also hurt other vital crops. Supply chain problems have no mercy yet again, as they're making it harder to find tampons at your local store. These essential personal hygiene items are scarcer than ever thanks to issues with both raw materials and shipping. While legacy tampon-producing brands like Procter & Gamble promise that the supply of tampons won't be halted for too long, it's still bad news for plenty of people who can't find their favorite brand. Menstrual care products are a necessity. We need it to be able to go to work, to school, just to function. As reported by the New York Times, inflation is another big reason why people are seeing massive price tags on essential period-related products, with the price of tampons increasing 10 percent in just the first half of 2022. On top of that, major stores like Walgreens and CVS have recently run out of some popular brands. Despite this state of affairs, you should avoid trying to prolong the life of the tampons that you do have, as that could lead to toxic shock syndrome. When you're in a pinch, pads are a viable alternative. While most movie theaters have reopened post-pandemic and are seeing plenty of return customers, there is one not-so-delicious surprise awaiting guests — a popcorn shortage. This scarcity could seriously affect the rest of the blockbuster season. And what is a trip to the theater without those sticky, crunchy floors and aroma of butter flavoring? Popcorn shortages are reportedly expected in Texas due to a decrease in corn production. According to the USDA, corn production has dipped roughly 4 percent, with states like Massachusetts and Rhode Island planting fewer acres of the crop than ever before. This means that savory corn and corn-related products could be harder to find. And it doesn't look good for the bagged popcorn on store shelves, either. Since Americans are enthusiastic and frequent popcorn consumers, a shortage may deprive you of your favorite crunchy treat for your way too many upcoming Netflix binges. California's tomato crops could be the next victims of climate change, thanks to an ongoing catastrophic drought in the Golden State. As a result, you can expect scarcer selections of tomatoes at your local grocery store, and tomato-based products could be on the chopping block as well. Tomato-based sauces and salsas could also see a pricing double whammy, both from the tomato shortage and ongoing inflation woes. California vastly outperforms all other U.S. states in tomato production, and its parched farmland is likely to have massive impacts on the tomato supply for months. You can also expect to pay quite a bit more than usual for standard, generally cost-effective staples like pasta sauces and condiments. As much as it hurts to break our huge nationwide reliance on tomatoes, it's economical and smart to look elsewhere by swapping out vodka sauce for herbaceous pesto until California's farmland is viable again.